making some basic adjustments in Lightroom and creating a caption identifying what those adjustments are. Here we have a photograph. I'm in the develop module and the first thing I want to do is to crop this. And I'm going to maintain the proportions so I'm going to keep this at the original proportions. Notice if this is unlocked then I can change the proportions. If I lock that it'll maintain the proportions and I want to keep the proportions. And what I'm looking for is to move him over to the side a bit and uh, tighten up the image so that it's uh, more about him but also showing some more of the field like the direction he's trying to move into. Uh, so I kind of like that. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I like that. And now I'm going to take a look at what happens if I adjust the white balance. Right now it's as shot. And so I'm going to try some of these other ones. I'm gonna, it looks like it was daylight, so I'm going to see what daylight does. And I'm going to compare that. Um, just go back and forth and look at the two and see what I like better. And I think I like that, but uh, it is a little oversaturated at the moment, so I'm going to now bring my uh, saturation down a little bit. And not a whole lot, just a tad. And I think that looks better. And I can go back and look at the... It's still looking a little yellow to me, so I'm going to pull the blue slider over a little bit. And I like that better. And I'm just going to see what happens if I move this one some. I can make the grass less saturated that way. I kind of like it right about there. So notice what I'm doing is just visually, I'm just sliding this back and forth and um, seeing what looks good. Slide the other one back and forth, see what looks good. I can now compare that in the history panel. Go back to before I did the tint and temperature. And here's where I was before and even before I did the saturation adjustment and compare that with where I ended up. So I've ended up with considerably less saturation and I'm much happier with the color here. So I think I'm pretty much finished with these basic adjustments. Um, and unless I want to, well let's take a look. I'm going to turn on my uh, highlight and shadow clipping here and just take a look what happens if I increase the exposure some. And I don't start clipping. Notice now I'm clipping here. I don't start clipping until way up there. But um, I like it kind of in there. And let's take a look at black clipping. I don't start clipping. You see that blue? That's showing that's where it's clipping. Clipping means that it's, uh, it's no longer able to distinguish those different tones. Um, it's going to block up those tones. So kind of like that. Now let's compare again what I had before. And again, the difference is very subtle. Uh, you can see a slight move in the histogram. Basically, it's gotten a little bit darker. The darks have gotten a little bit darker. Take a look at the histogram as I move this. And you can see it's just a slight shift there. But I'm good with that now. So now the next step is I want to create a caption that captures what I've just done. So if I look in history, I can see what I've done is cropped it and I've just white balance and um, black clipping and exposure. Okay, so that's uh, cropping white balance, I'm counting with my fingers here, um, exposure, black clipping. Okay, I'm going to go over to library module now and scroll down here. You want to make sure that you have EXIF and IPTC uh, visible here. You can click on this little arrow to make sure that's what you've got. And then if you move down here, there is caption. So in the caption, I'm going to say crop, comma, white balance, and what else? Remind me. Anything else? I think that's what I did. So um, I could add a title also, um, but I don't have to. Yeah, I'll sure I'll add a, no, nah, I'm not going to add a title for this. Anyway, so you do those things, that, and um, then when you create your web page, you make sure that uh, you're displaying the caption, and that'll show that. So that's how you go about doing that. Thank you.